Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot. I'm bringing you your weekly. So from now till, oh, I just saw a centipede on my ceiling. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't usually kill centipedes, but I definitely don't want one crawling and falling on my head. So if I start screaming because something falls on my head, that's what it is. But I'm just going to let him live. Anyways, um, I'm bringing you your weeklies. This is going to be all signs. There'll be timestamps below. This is what's coming towards you in love between now and the 23rd of July. I know this is a minute late, but sorry. I'm sorry. Um, well, I'll be using the Love and Romance Journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot, um, the Soul Reflections Love Oracle deck, and then the Now Showing Movie Matinee Oracle from Divine Moon Empress. And they actually have movie quotes on there, and it's just like something that'll either help you resonate with the read or um, it'll be a piece of advice or something you need to hear. So um, these are general reads, so please take them how they resonate. If you feel like it's really hit, missing the mark, if you feel like it's hitting the mark, then definitely let me know. But if you feel like it's missing the mark, then go ahead and check your moon in your rising signs. If you're unsure what your moon and your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box below that'll get you to a web page. Um, if you are interested in um, that information, I'll give you your sun, moon, rising, and then a whole bunch of other information. Um, or you can always reach out to me for a personal. That's also in the description box. So let's get started, guys. Thank you so much for coming to my page. Thank you so much for always being patient with me. You know, I think I'm doing well, and then I'm like, boom, I'm late again. So um, hopefully I'll, I'll get back in the groove soon. All right. This has been... Uh, a different different kind of year I'll just say that all right Aries 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 what's going on with Aries oh I also wanted to say this is like my two-year anniversary too and being on YouTube so or very close to it so hey happy two-year anniversary but Aries 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 what's coming towards Aries and love let's get started what's coming towards Aries and love the five of Pentacles the Ace of Wands, oh, and the Three of Swords, Aries. Um, the bottom of the deck, I'm not doing this energy, but there's a Twin Flame card here, so that could be relevant. I'm not really going to go into that because I don't want to use that for everybody else. Um, but I feel like, guys, uh, the Five of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. So the Three of Swords is like some loss, grief, um, despair. Like you can just see the agony in this card, sadness. So I feel like, Aries, you might be going through a really sad time about something you're super passionate about. This could potentially even be, I know what's coming towards you in love, but this could be related to a job situation or a financial situation. I'm just going to throw that out there. Um, possibly could be something that you're super passionate about, like isn't panning out in terms of work. Um, but I feel like this could also just be something you're very passionate about in terms of love isn't working out for you. And I feel like there's a lot of heavy energy for you right now, Aries. I feel like this is like tough business for you. Um, I think it's definitely something you're passionate about or you could have a new passionate encounter coming up to kind of get you out of this sadness, but it came up in the middle. So I kind of feel like this is more of something you're really passionate about um, is hurting your heart right now. So I don't see a lot of great things coming in love. Uh, I know I wasn't going to focus on this, but it could be part of a twin flame journey. I'm not going to um, speak much to that. If you want to Google it, you can. Just because I'm not really using bottom of the deck energy right now. We're going to get a love and romance journey for Aries. Wounded. I mean, 100% wounded. Sorry, Aries. I want to give you a hug. And then let's get a um, Soul Reflections Love Oracle card, Childhood Love. So this could be um, something from childhood uh, that's bringing you grief, um, or I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is truly connected to the situation. I mean, perhaps you married your childhood sweetheart and you guys are having some issues, um, or this kind of just trauma or sadness brings you back to a childhood love situation. And then we're going to do a now showing movie matinee oracle. Let's give uh, Aries a piece of advice or something they need to hear or something that will help them resonate. Um, what is seen is not always what is real. The teacher on nightmare, on, uh, the teacher from a nightmare on Elm Street. So what is seen is not always what is real. So that might be something that you need to keep in mind. 
I don't know, Aries. I'm, I'm sorry for this situation. I feel like if it is a twin flame journey, there's potential for it to kind of come back around, right? But um, I don't know. Big hugs to you. I wasn't going to put these cards back, and then I decided I was. So Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Yep, and my centipede's still on the ceiling. Same spot. He's, he's not moving because I'm not moving. <laughs> Let's keep it that way. All right, Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What's coming towards Tauruses? In love. What's coming towards Tauruses in love? The Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, the Three of Cups. Okay, I'm going to just shuffle out all the cards. Journey. Okay, Journey. And Lust. Well, I don't see a Lust in here just yet. Um, I'm going to pull one of these two because I have a feeling if I don't do this right now, I'm going to forget. Okay. So I feel like, um, guys, this is a good situation. I feel like you're moving away from a situation that wasn't providing you with stability, that wasn't providing you with love, which is here, love and stability. Um, I feel like this is a situation that you're you're removing yourself from and moving on to calmer waters. So I think you are in a transition moment, Taurus. Um, I think making that transition is going to pull you into a situation with somebody who is willing to commit, with someone who is stable, who is grounded, who is loyal, who is um, emotionally available, who is financially sound, who is um, not afraid of a commitment. And I feel like it's going to be such an intense connection between you and this person. To me, the Three of Cups is, um, if you know anything about tarot or how I interpret, um, the Two of Cups is like true love, soulmate, um, marriage. The Three of Cups is true love, soulmate, marriage, and then like this undeniable friendship. So I feel like um, it's like good times. It's like um, celebration, like a wedding reception or... Um, an engagement party. So I feel like once you move away from a situation that's not serving you, you're going to have great things. Um, I think this is definitely part of the journey. And perhaps perhaps lust is what's keeping you in that situation for that six of swords. And that's what you have to move away from. Because I feel like lust is can be fun, right? But I feel like it's not always the healthiest thing. I think sometimes it can cloud our, our brain. And your movie matinee, <laughs> you're as scared as hell of yourself. Um, from death becomes her. You're as scared as hell of yourself. So maybe that's the thing. You know what I just thought when I read that? I almost feel like you kind of stay or you've been staying in this situation because it's safe and you know it's not going to really work, but it's been safe for you to keep your heart safe and you're going to need some courage to kind of move away from that. That's just what came to me. So, like, take it or leave it. But there you go, Tauruses. Gemini's, Gemini's, Gemini's. What's coming from Gemini's? Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands, and the World card. So, Gemini's, I feel like. I feel like you have good things coming toward you in love. I don't necessarily have cups here. I'm doing a three card pull so that um, doesn't always help. But I think pages being here, you got page of, page of pentacles and a page of wands. I feel like you're going to get some good news, some messages. And with the world card being here, I feel like there's a completion of a cycle. Um, so we just got the twin flame card. Oh, you guys got two love oracle cards. We'll see what those are overcoming odds many suitors but one stands out in the crowd so i feel like um you could potentially gemini's if you believe in a twin flame journey be in a twin flame journey right now um and some kind of cycle is closing so i feel like this could be um this could be like the break from your twin flame where you guys are not together um that's kind of what i'm feeling like I feel like you are ending the separation period. Um, so that, that frame of time is ending. So the twin flame connection can kind of come into play. I do feel like we have two pages. So this is like smaller, smaller kind of um, movements. But we end the page of pentacles is slow. 
but and we also have the page of wands which is good news and excitement and creativity and fun and you know just um good vibes so i feel like what's happening is like this separation between you and your potential twin flame has come to a close um and you will start to get messages you will start to get small offers um this is committed loyal grounded energy this is fiery sexy flirty energy but they're both pages so i feel like they're just minimal and then we have overcome odds and then we have many suitors one stands out in the crowd so i think this is a situation that you're overcoming odds with this twin flame if you don't know what a twin flame is, go ahead and look it up. Um, but many suitors. So you may have lots of people, but one starting to stand out in the crowd. So if you know or don't know your twin flame yet, I mean, it could be possible that you're just meeting them in this lifetime. Um, and then your, your quote from the movie is from Remember the Titans from Blue Stanton. And it says, because baby, there ain't no mountain high enough, ain't no valley low enough. That's also a song lyric too. Um, so that might be relevant to you, Geminis. All right, let these cards, get these cards back in the deck and move on. Sorry, I keep getting messages on my phone if you see me. Um, it's a group text and I don't know what they're all saying because I'm only catching pieces. So I apologize if I look a little distracted. I am. So I'm going to try to stay focused. And look at that later because I don't want to have to splice the videos together because it takes that much longer to send them out, put them out. All right, moving on to Cancer. Cancers, Cancers, Cancers. What's coming towards Cancers in love? Ooh, the Sun card, Cancer. Yay. The Nine of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like, Cancers, you potentially have been in a situation in which you have been potentially juggling or somebody's been juggling you um let me pull these other two cards because i feel like i'm just gonna speak to that marriage just popped out cancers Ooh, and divine divine feminine so i do i feel like you have been in a situation in which either you've been juggled or someone's been juggling you i just saw this titanic quote from rose um, I feel I'm standing in the middle of a crowded room screaming at the top of my lungs and no one even looks up. So I almost feel like that's how you've been feeling. That's how you've been treated. Perhaps this Titanic quote has a lot to do with your situation. I don't know if you, I don't know who hasn't seen the Titanic, but I'm sure there's a lot of people who haven't. Um, where Rose is like stuck in this situation with this person she doesn't really love and she's supposed to marry him and she doesn't really want to. Um, and she feels like hopeless and helpless. Um, and then Leonardo DiCaprio obviously comes along and opens up her world and makes her see things a lot differently. But anyways, I feel like maybe you were feeling like you were stuck in a situation or it was imbalanced or you weren't being treated as well as you wanted to be treated. But I do feel like um, this didn't stop you. This wounded warrior energy is like, I'm still believing in love. I'm still believing in my happily ever after. And I feel like that's coming. I feel like your perseverance to holding to your values, holding to what you want, will bring you the sun card, which is the most positive card in the deck. This is happiness. This is joy. This is optimism. This is potentially a child. This is like the most positive card in the deck. So this is a wonderful thing to have coming towards you in love. And then we have marriage and the freaking divine feminine, you guys. So I feel like you have a soulmate connection coming that's going to turn into a marriage. If you know what the divine feminine is, it's very similar to like the empress vibes. It is the counterpart in a situation. So you could be the divine feminine. Your person could be a divine feminine, depending on their energies or your energies, um, nurturing abundance, abundance, um, uh, caring, empathetic, sympathetic, grounded, a caretaker, a provider, uh, I think I said nurturing already. Someone who's like really got everything in order. They're leveled up. They're coming in as their best self. And they want a marriage with you. So that's awesome, Reed Cancers. That's awesome to finish up your your uh, season. That's freaking amazing. I have Cancer Moon and Rising, so I like it. <laughs> all right. Oh, let me get all my cards back in. All right, Leo's, Leo's, Leo's. It's almost Leo season. What's coming in for Leo? In fact, depending on when you watch this, it might be Leo season. 
the Three of Pentacles, the Justice card, and the Page of Cups. Interesting. Let me get the rest of your cards. That card. All right, Leo. So it looks like you're having someone coming towards you. Um, we do have the Justice card here, so I feel like it could potentially be a Libra, but it could also just be someone that's going through a legal situation. It could be someone who recently divorced. It could be um, someone who's going through a divorce. It could be someone that you work with. We have the Three of Pentacles here too. Um, but I feel like uh, what do you have coming towards you in love? I feel like you have a situation in which someone wants to work with you. Someone wants to build with you. Someone wants to grow with you. Um, they see you as a teammate. They see you as a potential counterpart to building what they want in terms of their life. Um, and I feel like they see you as balanced as well. I feel like they could be like going through some kind of legal situation, could be going through a divorce, or they could also be getting balance in their life, which will provide balance to your life. This person is coming in with some love offers or a potential apology. I'm only pulling three cards, so, oh, how, you guys got two now showing cards somehow, so I will read them both, but I feel like um, this person could be coming with an apology, but the Page of Cups is also like love offers. Uh, I feel like they're going to kind of let you know how they're feeling, express some of their emotions. They're definitely in love with you, and they want to build and grow with you, so I think this is a very stable situation. Um, if it's an apology, like, you get to decide whether or not you're going to accept that apology, but I feel like you might, I just, uh, this card, uh, delicacy. So it's like a rose and someone's sticking their finger inside a rose. I don't know anybody that does it to a rose, like a, a rose that's on your rose. <laughs> that's on your rose bush. Oh my God. That's so funny. Um, yeah. Like if you get a bouquet of roses, you're not sticking your fingers in there. How, how about that? Okay. Nothing I say is coming out right because I have all these other thoughts in my head, but we're just going to move forward. And then we have date night. So, about chicka wow wow. This might be a very delicate, uh, intimate date night. Sorry, my camera was doing some crazy things. Um, but I feel like you'll have some offers coming up of potential date lights and some intense sexual chemistry there. Um, so, the one that came out that I pulled, I believe, was from the Terminator. It says, I now know why you cry, but it's something I can never do. I don't recall this line exactly. It's from the Terminator. I think the Terminator might say it. I don't know. And then Tinkerbell and Hook says, you know that place between sleep and awake, the place where you can still remember dreaming? That's where I'll always love you, Peter Pan. That's where I'll be waiting. So the Terminator or Peter Pan might have some significance to you. Oh, or Hook rather. Um... Oh, sorry, that's my dryer again, making this cute little song. But um, I do feel like you have the potential to have a really intense uh, connection here, guys. Which will be good for you. You can go enjoy your Leo season. Um, maybe you'll have lots of date nights. All right, let's move on to Virgos. Virgos, 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 what's coming towards you in love? I'm just checking on my centipede. He's still there. I think I scared him because he's not moving. I hope he stays. <laughs> oh, okay. Two of pentacles. Oh, interesting. The, and the pay, these, these cards have already come out tonight. So, um, Virgos. Oh, let me get the rest of your cards. All right, Virgos, that makes me that makes me a little happier to see for you. Okay, so I feel like um, we have the Two of Pentacles. So the Two of Pentacles to me is often like things not being balanced, um, things being juggled. So I kind of feel like, and then we have the the Justice card right next to that, which is balance. So I feel like um, most likely, Virgos, your life has been kind of out of balance. You feel like. Once you get something taken care of, something else is falling through. You feel like you've got your hands full. It's almost like where you have, you know, the, all those spinning pots or tops um, on those sticks and you're trying to keep them all going and balanced and, and they crash and burn a lot. But I feel like 
it's coming to a equilibrium. Like I feel as if this Libra card here is showing balance. So this juggling, this, this off kilter situation that you've had going on, I think it's coming into balance. I also kind of feel like that because this says romance and true love. So I feel like that's kind of like a romance and true love journey and you're kind of getting your self stabilized to move forward in this journey. But I do see coming for you is page of wands. So this is like good times, good vibes, good news. Um, and then we have the gate is open, take a leap of faith and walk through. So I feel like you're about to have, um, you're about to go from being like off kilter to being very grounded to having fun and enjoying yourself. So whether that's if you're with somebody currently or you're going to meet somebody to go have fun with either or, but the gate is open, take a leap of faith and walk through. So I feel like if you were having some hesitancy, you're going to get that green light. All right. Oh. And then your card says, I'm in love. I am in love. And I don't care who knows it from um, Elf. And this is Buddy saying that. <laughs> I'm in love. I'm in love. And I don't care who knows it. So maybe that's relevant for you. Gosh, that felt like a super fast one, Virgos. But sometimes they're just crystal clear and you just move forward. I don't know. I just go quick. All right, let's go. Libra's coming up. Libras, Libras, Libras. What do Libras have coming towards them in love? Eight of Pentacles. Nice. Queen of Wands. You, Libras. Libras and Leos come up together a lot in my reads. I don't know why, but they do. <laughs> the card says memories. And all of a sudden I got um, the memory song from Cats the Musical. All right, so you guys, I feel like Libras, you have some really great things coming towards you in love. I feel like the temperance card is here. So this to me is saying like divine timing is working. Everything is falling into place. Everything's going to be balanced. Um, this very much is a great card to have because it's, it's stable. It's consistent. It's what's supposed to be happening. I feel like you have a soulmate connection coming with this eight of pentacles. Um, could be earth sign, could be fire sign, could be Sagittarius, could be, could be anything. But um, I feel like this person and you understand that love is, is worth working for. The Eight of Pentacles is like putting in hard work and reaping the benefits, right? Um, this is someone to me who is a soulmate who understands that it takes a lot of effort to make a love situation work. And they are willing to do that and they want to do that. So this person is grounded, stable, committed, and loyal. This person is also fiery, sexy, flirty, passionate, fun to be around, has a great sense of humor, the queen of wands. So this person is just someone you find very attractive, very sexy. You're very into this person. Um, I feel like you probably have a hard time kind of denying your feelings for this person. Uh, yeah. And then it says memory. So I feel like this could potentially, this is like the six of cups to me. So this is like someone who gives you very nostalgic vibes. So this is someone like you either had a previous connection with in your current life or a past life connection. Someone you feel very um, nostalgic with or about. It says open for love. So I feel like you're open. I feel like everything's in balance. The timing is right. So it is time for love. And then this quote is from Mrs. Doubtfire. And it says, if there's love, dear, then those are the ties that bind. If there's love, dear, those are the ties that bind. Which kind of makes me feel like that soulmate eight of pentacles energy. Nice. I like it for you. I like that for you, Libras. Very nice. I feel like I'm going to sneeze, so pardon me. I always... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hold on. Good gravy tomatoes, I always sneeze. <laughs> oh, good gravy. All right. All right, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpios. What's coming towards Scorpios in love? Mm, good gravy. I just sneeze. <laughs> always sneezing down here. I think it's because it's damp. I've had my basement waterproof, but um, 
holy freaking smoke, Scorpio. You have some amazing stuff. I was going to swear. I'm not doing bottom of the deck, ener deck energy, but you also have the ten of freaking pentacles on the bottom of the deck. And the nine of cups underneath that. So that's a wish fulfillment. So I would say it's safe to say, Scorpios, you have a wish fulfillment coming. You have the sun card, which is the, you have three major arcanas. Holy smokes. Um, the sun card is here. So this is the most positive card in the deck. Could represent a Leo. You have a Capricorn card. Oh, the devil card, which is Capricorn. And then you have the Empress, which is a Libra. So it could be any of those signs. So it doesn't have to be any of them. Um, it could be any sign. But I feel like... Uh, you have a, an amazing freaking read here. Normally the devil represents like addiction, strongholds, uh, could be like too much drinking, too much, um, shopping, gambling, sex addictions, um, it can be like overthinking obsessive thoughts, but because it's between the sun, the freaking sun and the freaking empress, I feel like this is a positive kind of obsession. Um, I feel like it's an intense connection between you and this person. So I feel like this is a person you have, there's, there's no way you can deny that there's a connection. You feel it within your bones. This person is your divine counterpart. This person is your empress. This person is abundant. This person is nurturing, caring. This person is beautiful. This per person is giving. This person is empathetic. This person is sympathetic. This person um, is grounded, is stable, is committed, is loyal. This person is everything that you want. It's your divine counterpart, your soulmate. This is who you're meant to be with. Um, I feel like that connection is so undeniable that you can't even trick yourself. Uh, you might try to trick yourself, but you're not going to be able to trick yourself. And you might be able to hold yourself off for a little while, but it's not going to work. This is the most positive card in the deck. This is joy. This is happiness. This is optimism. This is uh, potentially a baby if you want a baby. But this is like all the glory goodness. So Scorpios, this is all coming towards you in love. And the reason why I feel like it's definitely a love connection is because it's romance and true love is the card that came out. Um, and it's a love reading, of course. And then we have cleanse, release what no longer serves you. So I kind of feel like that could be reflective of this devil card too. So maybe you do have to do some releasing of potentially a past person who didn't work out or guilt or um, that you might be holding on to. But I feel like once you kind of cleanse your soul, your thoughts, all of this glorious goodness is coming your way. Amazing. All right. And your movie is Look Who's Talking. And this is Albert stating. I know this may be hard to understand, but I'm going through a selfish phase right now. I think this is interesting. I feel like maybe the devil and the cleanse card could be reflective of somebody. Maybe you, maybe somebody else going through a selfish phase. Um, and you're coming out of that. And that's what's going to kind of propel you towards this phenomenal love situation phenomenal if you allow it all right scorpios thank you for watching we're going to move on to sagittarius today. sagittarius 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 what's coming towards sagittarius is in love Wow, Sagittarius. So I feel like um, we have the Seven of Wands. We have the Emperor with the Climax card. And we have the Ten of Wands. So I feel like, um, I feel like, guys, you have the potential to be coming into your Divine Masculine. I feel like you have been extremely guarded. Uh, probably because you've been hurt before would be my guess. But if you look at this picture, she's in this bubble with her personal space, right? And all these wands are trying to make their way in, but only one wand is being allowed into the, the space. So I feel like Sagittarius says you've been extremely guarded, but then we have the 10 of wands and this is kind of like putting down a burden, letting go of this heaviness. So I feel like you're going through the transition of like, I'm so guarded. I'm so protective of myself. I'm really not allowing fun to enter my life. I need to just set all this down. I need to recognize that people who I'm with currently or about to be with are not my past people and I need to stop treating them as such. And I think once you make that flip of the switch, you're going to have the freaking emperor or you potentially are with the emperor. I don't know. Um, this is your divine masculine. This is someone who wants to care for you, provide for you. Male or female is irrelevant. This is more of the energy. This is a soulmate energy, but this is someone who's kind of authoritative, who's powerful, who's strong, who's a protector, who is a provider, 
who wants to be like the yin to your yang, um, uh, they can be a bit fiery too. But I feel like this person is here to be with you. This is your soulmate, your counterpart. And this is the love and romance journey. So it could be some extremely pleasurable experiences with your emperor. And then we have maybe the potential to happen is there. And I really feel like if that's once you open up, allow this seven of wands to kind of dissipate and put those burdens down with the ten of wands. All right, Sagittarius, your um, quote is from the movie Carrie. Um, and it's Carrie White, the, the, the character, saying, I'm going, Mama. You can't stop me. I don't want to talk about it anymore. So I don't know if Carrie is a specific movie for you or if you're like, like, I'm going to go through with this. I'm going to do it. I don't care what anybody tells me. I'll take it how it resonates with you guys. All right, Sagittarius, thank you so much for watching. Moving right along to Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. What's coming towards Capricorns in love? What is coming towards Capricorns in love? Seven of Cups, the World card, Ten of Swords, all right. Ooh, Empress on the bottom of the deck. I'm not really doing bottom of the deck energy, but I'm glad to see that for you, Capricorns. Well, I don't have to use it from the bottom of the deck because it came up anyways. Divine Feminine and the Empress is the same freaking card. Holy smokes. That's supposed to be in your reading. Lust. Lust. All right, Capricorns, what do I see for you? So I see the Seven of Cups here, I feel like is a decision that you have to make. I feel like you have been kind of stuck in this confusion. Um, maybe you've had a lot of options. You're not really sure what to do moving forward. You're kind of conflicted in terms of love. Um, but I really feel like that is dissipating. I said that twice in this reading. Um, because the Ten of Wands is here. So I feel like this confusion is going to come to a close. Um, and then I, I mean, it's redundant here with the world card. Um, cause the world card is like a completion of a cycle. So often like a tough cycle that results in something positive. So I think you're going to get clarity on this confusion that you're feeling or wondering about. Um, I feel like this Ten of Swords is a definite ending. So like I think feel as if your confusion comes to an end and then you're going to have a wonderful outcome. And I think that this wonderful outcome is your divine counterpart, whether it's male or female, it doesn't matter. It's about the energies, but your divine feminine slash empress is showing up here. So I feel like this, this challenging situation is what's like been preparing you for this, this new cycle to begin with your counterpart. Um, the Divine Feminine is someone who is nurturing, who is empathetic, who is sympathetic, who is compassionate, who is loving, who is abundant, who is um, committed, who is loyal, who is grounded, who is stable. Uh, I feel like the Divine Feminine, uh, male or female, it's just more of a um, characteristics. Male or female is not specific. So I feel like this is your counterpart. This is your soulmate. This is what you have coming towards you. I feel like you're going to feel a lot of lust and passion towards this person when they come into your life. So that might help you realize who it is. Um, and then the card that I pulled from the movie matinee deck says, don't let anyone ever make you feel like you don't deserve what you want. That's Patrick, who is Heath Ledger, um, in the 10, in 10 Things I Hate About You. Uh, yeah, so I feel like Maybe someone before was kind of saying, like, you're never going to find someone better than me. And then that ends, which prompts you to find your freaking divine feminine. Like, someone who's supposed to be someone who is everything you want. I like that. That's a, that's a nice, cohesive read right there. Nice. That's a good one, Capricorn. That is a very, very good read. Very good. I don't know. What's wrong with me? Just checking on my centipede. He's still hanging out on the ceiling over there. All right. Aquarius is Aquarius is Aquarius is what's coming towards Aquarius is in love. What's coming towards Aquarius is in love. Well, you guys are the first ones that got four cards. But all right. Ooh. 
Oh, that's nice. Um, I feel like you definitely have a situation coming towards you. I feel like it's a situation you've been waiting for with this three of pentacles. It's your divine counterpart. Oh, I like this for you. Aquarius says, I like this for you. So your divine counterpart is coming. So it is your true love. It is your soulmate. We have the lover's card, which signifies this intense connection between you and another person. I mean, if you just look at this card, you can feel the energy off this card. Now it's going to mess up my light. But this is a true love soulmate energy. This is marriage. This is a marriage. Um, this is something you've been waiting for, Aquarius. Is you've been waiting and waiting for your ships to come in. I feel like you've been waiting for the universe to align. You've been waiting for things to come to fruition. You've been waiting. And now it's coming. Things are coming to fruition. The seeds that have been planted previously are growing. You're watching the results of your hard work. I feel like you've been putting in so much work and waiting for some kind of sign and it's not been coming. And now all of a sudden these tomato plants are going to be overabundant and producing so many tomatoes, you're going to have a handful. Um, this is someone who wants to work with you, who wants to grow with you, who wants to build with you. This is someone you see as a team player. This is someone that you see as a partner that will stand up to what you're putting in, will put in what you put in. You guys can build and grow together. There's also two, three. So two threes, a six, and a seven are the numbers you've got. Um, this is a divine feminine energy um, coming in. Like whether it's male or female is irrelevant. This is more of an energy of someone who is abundant, someone who is caring, someone who is nurturing, someone who is compassionate, someone who is empathetic and sympathetic is the provider, someone who is stable and grounded and loyal, someone who is intelligent, someone who is passionate. They're going to be everything like you're kind of looking for in a counterpart, in a person. And it says overcoming, overcomes the odds. So I feel like um, this could potentially be someone that you're overcoming odds with, or this could be like you finally realizing it's gonna happen for you. I feel like you're gonna feel as if it's overcoming odds. It's just all falling into place finally. You're gonna have exactly what you want. All right, let's see what your movie matinee oracle says. This one came out before. I'm, I'm I'm not a fan of these like scary movie quotes, but whatever. <laughs> this is from Carrie, the movie. And Carrie White says, I'm going, mama. You can't stop me. I don't want to talk about it anymore. So I feel like um, with this read, I feel like this might be more like someone's been trying to hold you down or keep you back. And you're like, you know what? I'm going. I'm not, you, I don't want to talk about this anymore. This is what I want or this is what is done. Like, I feel like you're just going to be like, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Like this is, I've made my decision. But I feel like it's been a long time coming for you, Aquarius. Which I'm happy for you. Divine freaking feminine energy. That's awesome. Awesome sauce. All right. Moving on to Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What's coming towards Pisces in love? What is coming towards Pisces in love? Let's check it out. I was like, nothing, Pisces. Ooh, holy smokes, your twin freaking flame. Wow, Pisces. Let me get the rest of your cards. Pisces, what do Pisces need to see? Mm. Wow. <laughs> I think you'll be um, having a child if you haven't had a child already. If you want a child, if you don't want a child, then make sure you're careful. <laughs> uh oh, from Gizmos from the Gremlin is your movie quote. I love that. Uh oh. Um, I definitely feel like there has been a situation for you, Pisces, um, with it. I think this is a twin flame journey. I think this is very directed towards the twin flame journey. The bottom of the deck, which I haven't really been using most of the night, is the Knight of Pentacles. This is like this slow process, this slow journey, this slow movement for eternity. Um, I feel like what's coming towards you in love, we have death and rebirth. So I feel like we also have the Wheel of Fortune. 
and we have the four of wands. So death and rebirth is like something coming to an end and something starting, right? I feel like that's very indicative of this twin flame journey, which is the 1111 card twin flame journey. This is a connection of someone. If you don't know what a twin flame journey is, look it up. Um, if it doesn't resonate, maybe you haven't met your person yet in this lifetime, but uh, this is a person that your soul recognizes. This is a person that feels like home to you. This is a person that you can't, you don't feel like this with anybody else. Um, you've been with many people or maybe not many, but you've been with a handful, right? And nobody makes you feel like this person feels. So if you haven't met them, that's how you're going to know who it is. It's going to be someone that just feels like home to you. They're stable. They're committed. They're, they're like long term in your life. Um, they feel like home. Like there's just, you, I don't even know how else to describe it. Your souls recognize each other. I feel like there's an ending and a beginning. So this could be perhaps you were with your twin flame and it ended and there's going to be a new beginning because sometimes twin flames don't stay together. But I feel like this is more you and your twin flame coming together. Uh, I feel like maybe some other cycles have ended and it's uh, the new beginning is your twin flame coming into the picture. I feel that way because of this karma this wheel of fortune energy, things are shifting, karma is taking place. I feel like your karmic partners might have had to been released either between you or your twin flame or both. Um, I feel like this movement could result in a child. We have child and then we have planning ahead and it says divine timing is aligned. So if you're not interested in having a child or you already have children, um, and you, you can't have children or what, what not, I feel like, um, children are involved in this situation. Um, planning ahead is going to be necessary, perhaps because your person might have a child, you might have a child, but divine timing is aligned. And I feel like that's redundant with this wheel of fortune card. Divine timing is at play. All the cycles that had to roll through have been rolled through. Um, and you, I feel like are coming in with your twin flame. And then it says, uh Oh, gizmo from gremlin. So I don't know, maybe you said, uh Oh, when you heard something or what, but I think it's kind of funny. Um, but I do feel like this has been like a long time coming. Nice. Or you're going to have a baby. So be careful if you don't want a baby. All right, Pisces. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. And until next time, guys, take care. Thanks so much for watching.